Hello guys, welcome to Mail Study. Sometime, due to some business or organization requirement, need to migrate Microsoft 365 mailboxes from one tenant to another tenant. Means moving Office 365 users' databases one domain to another domain. In this video, I will share how you can perform tenant to tenant migration or cross tenant migration. Let's start. So this my source tenant and this is my target tenant. And this is the source user which data we need to migrate one tenant to another tenant. For your reference, I had written an article that will help you to easily done Office 365 tenant to tenant migration. Let's open the article. Here I also shared the PowerShell command step by step so that you did not feel any problem while migration. I also mentioned the article link in the comment section. Before performing migration process, we have to do these prerequisites. So let's first done these. After that, we start the migration process. First, we have to verify the global admin access on both tenant admin ID are assigned or not. If it is not assigned, assign it. For this, first open office365.com and login source admin ID. Click on admin to open admin center. Select user and click on active users. Now search and select admin ID and click on three dots. Again, select manage roles. As you can see in the global admin access already assigned. So now log in target admin account. I already log in the target tenant. So go to admin panel, select user and click on active user. Now find the target admin ID. Select it and click on three dot and again click on manage roles. As you can see the global admin access is already assigned to the target admin as well. So let's go to the article to follow next step. Now create a mail enabled security group on the source tenant. For this, in source admin panel select teams and groups and click on active teams and groups. Now here click on security group and again click on add a mail enabled security group. Now complete the setup. Here put any unique group name. Leave the description blank and click on next. Now in the assign owner section click on assign owner to assign owner to this group. Select the admin user and click on add button. Again, click on next. Now click on add members and select those users which database you want to migrate. Click on add and press the next button. Now here put any unique name to create group email address and press the next button. Now verify all details and click on create group. Now you can see the migration group create successfully. Now click on close button. This group ID need in migration time. So open any text editor file and save the created group ID. Now let's go back to the article. Now on third, we have to find and save the tenant ID of source and target tenant. For this, run this link where the source tenant login. This is the source tenant ID. Copy and save it for the further assistance. Now again run this link where the target tenant is logged in. Also copy this target tenant ID and save it for further assistance. Now let's go back to the article. Now we have to create the migration application and secrete value on target tenant. For this, go to the target mailbox. Again, open Azure AD portal by following this link. Click on the view button. To create migration application, Select App Registrations. Now click on New Registration. Here put any unique application name. In the supported account type, we have to select account in any organization directory for multi-tenant. Select the redirect URL web and put this link here. Now click on Register button. You can see the application is created. Here copy and save the application ID. Now we need to provide the API permission. For this, here select API permission and click on add a permission. Now click on APIs my organization uses. Here search and select Office 365 Exchange Online. Now click on the application permissions. Here search and select mailbox. Enable mailbox migration option to move mailboxes between organization and click on add permission button. 
Now we need to create certificate and secret. For this, select certificates and secrets and click on new client secret. Here put any description. Here I am putting client secret value. Now click the add button. Copy and save the value. Now we need to grant admin consent for MSFT. For this, again, open Azure Active Directory and click on view and select enterprise applications. So this is the application that we have created. Here just click on this create application. Now go to the permissions option and click on grant admin consent for MSFT. Now log in the ID and accept the permission. Now you can see that admin consent. Now let's go back to the article. Now we have to create and manage exchange online migration endpoint and organization relationship in the target tenant. First of all, I open this article where the target tenant is logged in so that I have no problem in following all the commands. Now open the Windows PowerShell as administrator. If you are connecting Office 365 with PowerShell first time, you have to start with this execution policy script. Copy and paste this command in PowerShell. By default, this the execution policy was set as restricted. To enable this type Y and press the enter button. Now you have to connect Exchange Online with PowerShell. For this, first run this command to install the Exchange Online module. After running this type Y and press enter button. Now run this command to import the Exchange Online module in PowerShell. Now connect Exchange Online PowerShell with the target account by entering this command. Provide target admin account details and click on sign in button. Now let's go back to the article. Now we have to accept the application to enable mailbox migration. For this copy this link and visit where the source tenant login. Now open MS Word file, paste the copied link here and update the like this. Here put the source tenant. Now here put the application ID. Now browse this link. Select your source tenant admin ID. Now accept the permission. Now let's go back to the article. Now let's start to create the migration endpoint in target tenant. For this, copy this link. Visit where target tenant login. Open word file. Paste the copied command here and update like this. Enter the find application ID here. Here put client secret value. Now here put the source tenant detail. And at last put here any unique migration endpoint name. Now copy this command and run it on PowerShell. Copy the endpoint name and save it. Now back to the article. To make or edit the organization relationship with source tenant, we have to run this command on target tenant PowerShell. So copy and paste this command in Word file and update like this. Here put the source tenant ID. Here put any unique organization relationship name. Now copy this command and run on target tenant PowerShell. Now the organization relationship has been created. Copy and save the organization relationship name. Now back to the article. Now we have to configure the organization relationship in the source tenant. For this, first we have to connect the exchange online with source tenant. For this, open the Windows PowerShell as an administrator for source tenant. As I told, before connecting to exchange online, we have to run some command. So run their commands again. Copy and put this command. Now type Y and press enter. Now copy and run this script. Here type Y. Run this command to import the exchange online module in PowerShell. Now run this script. Here provide the source tenant sign in details and hit the sign in button. Now to create an organization relation to target tenant copy this command and paste on word file and update like this. Here put the target tenant ID. Now here put the create application ID. After this here put the group mailbox ID. Here provide the created organization relationship name. 
Now copy and run this command on where source tenant PowerShell is login. Now back to the article, now we have to create the mail users in target tenant. For this, open the target admin center. Now select show all and click on exchange to open the exchange admin center. Here click on recipients submenu contacts. Now click on add a mail user. Here put the same user details which data you want to migrate. First put user first name and last name. Here put initials. Now here put user display name. Here put the source tenant email address. Here put the alias. Here provide the user ID. Now select the target domain. Now here type the password for this user. Now press the next button. Now verify all details and click on create. As you seen the first user is created. Here click on done. Now we have to repeat this user creation steps to create the second mail user. Again, click on add a mail user. Now provide second user details. Now press the next button, verify all details and click on create. As you seen the second user is created. Here click on done. Let's go back to the article. Now we have to find and add exchange UID and exchange legacy DN of the source mailbox into the target mailbox. So to find the exchange UID and exchange legacy DN of the source mailboxes, copy the script and update like this. Here put the first user source ID. Now copy this command and run where the source PowerShell open. Copy the first user exchange UID and save it. Copy first user exchange legacy DN and save it. Now again update the scripts for second user. Put the second user source ID. Copy this command and run again. Copy the exchange UID and save it. Again copy exchange legacy DN and save it. Now we have to add exchange GUID and exchange legacy DN into the target mailbox. First, to add exchange GUID into the target mailbox, copy and update the script like this. Here put the first target user email ID. Here provide the exchange GUID of first source user. Now copy and run this command on target PowerShell. Here again put here the second target user email ID. Here provide the exchange UID of second source user. Now copy and run this command on target PowerShell. Now to add an exchange legacy DN into the target mailbox copy and update the script like this. Here put the first target user email ID. Here provide the exchange legacy DN of first source user. Now copy and run this command on target PowerShell. Here again put here the second target user email ID. Here provide exchange legacy DN of second source user. Now copy and run this command on target PowerShell. Now back to the article. Now we have to test the migration server availability in target PowerShell. For this, copy and update the script like this. Here put the migration endpoint name. Here put primary SMTP of user object in the target tenant. Now copy and run this command on target PowerShell. Now you can see the result is successful. Now again go back to the article. Now we have to assign the license to new created mail users in target tenant. For this, go to the admin center in target tenant and click on users select active users. As you can see both users are unlicensed. So we need to provide the license these users. For this, select these users Press here and click on Manage Product Licenses. Now click on Replace. Select the licenses and click on Save Changes. As you can see the license has been granted successfully so click Done. Now go back to the article. Now we have to create the migration batch in Target Tenant. For this, go to the Exchange Admin Center. Here select the migration and click on Add Migration Batch. Now. Here put any unique migration batch name. Now select Migration Path Migration to Exchange Online and press the Next button. Select the Migration Type Cross Tenant Migration and click on Next. So these are prerequisites of Cross Tenant Migration that we already done so directly click on Next. 
Select this migration endpoint which we already created and press the next button. Now we have to create the CSV file. To create the CSV file open Excel sheet. Here type email address. Here put the first target user email address. Here put second. If you have other users add below. Now save this file in CSV format. Now click on import CSV file and select the created CSV file. Now press the next button. Now here put the target delivery domain and click on next. Here put the email ID of that user who received the report of the migration process. Now select automatically start the migration batch. You can also select the manually start option if you want to start the migration batch later manually. Now select end the migration batch automatically. You can also other options as per your needs. Now select the time zone and press the save button. You can see the batch creation in process in progress. Please wait here. The batch creation is now successfully created. Click on done button. As you see the email syncing process is start. Click on the created batch and select the view details to know how much data are migrated. The migration takes time according to the data size. As you see the showing the 100% data is synced. You can click again on the created batch and select view details to know how much data are synced. Now I also want to tell you that if you want to complete Microsoft 365 tenant to tenant migration, then you have to buy the license because cross tenant migration requires per user license and it can be assigned to source or target user object. If you do not buy the license, the migration will fail. As you saw to complete the migration, we have to follow different migration steps, run different PowerShell commands and also buy license according to per user. To give you relief and perform cross tenant migration at the minimum cost, we at Mails Daddy provide the best service. For the past 10 years, we are dedicatedly helping individual, business and enterprise users to successfully migrate, convert and backup email databases. Enter your first and last name. Provide company name and email address. Enter mobile number and select your country. Select migration source and target source. If you want a callback at a specific time, share your required time for callback and submit the form. We promise to provide you the best experience and data migration service. Thanks for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe to Mail Study channel. Also enable the bell icon to always stay connected with us.